Welcome back to the ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. It's Noel, and I'm just here giving a quick reaction to what we've seen this afternoon. Well, this afternoon, European time, of course, from uh, Adelaide, Australia, as it looks likely that we could have just seen the, the very last of former world champion Jamel Semperfoy Herring in a professional ring as he's been defeated by the, the hometown uh, fighter Jackson England in Adelaide. Uh, yeah, Jamel Herring, 38 now, of course, former super featherweight world champion, uh, briefly retired from the sport in 2022 after a loss to Jermaine Ortiz. And uh, it was brief as he came back last year with a first round KO in Manhattan over an unbeaten fighter. But now that comeback has been completely derailed as Jackson England has got the better of him by a split decision. Uh, yeah, I, the fight itself was really cagey. You know, the, the commentators described that as a chess match um, Jamel Herring, it was a frustrating performance. He looked good at stages, you know, boxing off the back foot, popping that right hand, uh, cell pod jab out there. But he just didn't have enough fire in his shots of conviction to keep uh, Jackson England off him at all. Um, you know, the real case of what did you prefer the, the cleverness, the boxing, the back foot boxing of Herring, or the, the aggression and effective work of England? And you know, it's, it's come down to the the effect, effect of uh, effect of shots of of Jackson England, who was re looked really sharp in terms of he was in good lateral movement and aggression to get inside that long reach of Herring and and you know get a shots off. He never never had Herring in trouble or anything. He never hurt Jamel Herring, but yeah, he just kind of he outworked him for the ten rounds. You know, he, he really did Herring. Herring just couldn't keep him off for for a ten in a, in a real kind of. I won't say dual encounter, but a very cagey affair in in Adelaide, and yeah, as I say, Jamel Herring now at thirty eight, you know, it was always going to be tough for him anyway to to get back to world level at this age in a in a very good super featherweight division. But he has to be done now for me. I, I don't see what else he has left. I really don't. Um, the, there was no fire, no spark in that performance today at all. Um. So I think it's definitely a time to to walk away. You know, Jackson England was was the deserved winner in this one. You know, it was a, it was a tough fight to score at times, but Herring just didn't go to Australia, especially going to a place like Australia. You're not you're never gonna win a decision fighting like that. So yeah, Jackson England was the deserved winner. Uh, the most exciting thing in the fight that happened was England getting a bad cut over his eye. Um. In the the I think it was the ninth round from an accidental head clash, uh, it was a bad, very bad cut to be honest, real sore one. But it wasn't directly above the eye, so it wasn't streaming into the eye. It was at the the corner, so it was rolling down the side of his face more so. But yeah, England the deserved winner there uh, in Adelaide, and as I say, Jamel Herring, that's likely it now. You know, I've no, I'd have no kind of appetite in seeing him. Uh, push on, try and push on again to a world title at nearly 40 years of age. Obviously, he's a freak athlete, you know, he's such a big fighter for 130. I don't know how he makes it, not a pick of fat on him, absolutely shredded. I think he even came in at under 130 there, to be honest with you, today for that one. So, yeah, he's a, he's a great athlete, but the, the fire just seems to be gone, which is understandable. And, you know, he can retire now with a career to be proud of, as I say, former world champion. Uh, super featherweight world champion. Great wins over the likes of Carl Frampton, which ironically, it was the anniversary of that fight today, three years today since he beat Carl Frampton. Um, a really good win. He, he actually retired retired Carl Frampton himself, so it's kind of come full circle now from on the anniversary that he likely gets retired himself by Jackson England uh, in Australia. An, unf an unfortunate way for him to go out, but... England, the deserved winner. Um, no real complaints there with the with the decision, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, that was just a, a quick reaction to Jamel Herring, Semper Foy. Um, excuse me. Uh, we've just seen the last, likely the last of him in a professional boxing ring as he's been defeated by Jackson England. <laughs> Uh, the the younger uh, man by I think twelve years or so in Adelaide, Australia, by split decision, and yeah, cagey affair and not not much more to really say on that in terms of a reaction. So 
Yeah, that was just a, a quick, my quick thoughts on Jamel Herring. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Is that the last that we've seen of Herring in a professional ring? You know, if not, who would you like to see him fight next? Does he get badly hurt if he steps up the levels? Uh, can he make a, a miracle last run towards a world title? Who knows? Uh, don't forget, as always, to drop us a like in the comments. Uh, you know, drop us a like. Follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, follow all social media. Always great content coming out, you know. Uh, reviews, previews, interviews, all that good stuff. And yeah, uh, take care and speak again.